Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 15 minute flexibility and all that I'll be using is my phone. This way we can use the stopwatch and it can count us down for 60 seconds in each posture. To begin, we'll find butterfly pose, soles of the feet together, knees splay wide, and when you breathe in, arms sweep up. When you breathe out, forward fold, drawing the forehead and nose towards the knees. You'll notice that I'm placing my hands on the ankles and the elbow points into the inner knees, using the strength of the upper body to help the hips to open. Not only focusing on the open quality in your hips, but start to deepen your inhale, lengthen your exhale. And begin to press your elbows into your knees and resist that. Press your knees into the elbows. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. And soften through the legs and notice if you can find a little more opening. Releasing forehead towards the arches. A couple more rounds of breath. your inhale lift up with your exhale take your legs into wide angle flexing your feet or pointing your toes big inhale arms up with your exhale fold then over time gradually working towards releasing the chest along with your head as close as you can to the ground out in front of you and we're honing in on this skill of flexibility with patience there is sensation, there is stretch, but nothing is sharp or shooting. Absolutely nothing is painful. And if it's there for you, feel free to grab your ankles, flatten your back out entirely, melting the heart and head closer to the earth. Keep your belly breathing. your jaw unclenched. Press your hands into the floor, slowly lift your torso. Let's collect both legs out long in front of you. And flex your feet or point your toes, but keep them active. Big inhale, arms up. With your exhale, fold over. Now check in with the line of your spine. Avoid rounding or arching deeply. Rather, iron out from tailbone into base of skull keeping the breath constant and the feet full of life, full of energy. As we move through these stretches, feel free to use every exhalation to soften and deepen the amount of sensation that you are experiencing. Soft neck and face. Press your hands into the ground, slowly rise, lift your torso. Switch out the placement of your feet. If you are flexing, point. If you are pointing, flex. And with an exhale, come back into your forward fold, opening up to the entire back line of your body. It's incredible, really, from the Achilles tendon, calf muscles, hamstrings, glutes, spine, and neck. If it supports the flat line of your spine, draw your hands back so they frame your hips. Keep the feet alive and the breath steady. The exhalation deepens. Press your hands into the earth, slowly lift your torso. 
and bend both knees, feet to floor. Figure four is up next. Cross right ankle over left thigh. Option to slide your hips forward. Option to take a half or full bind where you wrap your forearms around your right calf muscle. Again, check in with the length of your spine. It's a flat back body from tailbone all the way up through the crown of your head. Sitting tall as we focus on the right hip opening sweetly. If you find it helpful, steady the gaze or close the eyes. Long spine, lifted chest. And slowly release, hands to the mat. Second side, cross left ankle over right thigh. Now here's the catch, everybody. If you find right to left sides totally different like mine, if you roll onto the back, please stick with hands to the ground. Remember that we do this work patiently and diligently. The spine is long, the chest is lifted, and the breath is ongoing. Just allowing your body to process, to receive the stretch, the fresh wave of blood flowing, and the belly breathing. Slowly uncross. We'll begin with our right leg for half splits. Extend your right leg out long in front of you and dig your right heel into the ground. Draw belly towards back and we're still maintaining a flat back body. No rounding, no arching. Right hip crease back, left hip forward. And enjoy the length of right hamstrings. So a little detail, five right toes are pointing up towards the sky. Remember that you can deepen on your exhale breath if that is appropriate for the amount of sensation. We're going to stick with the right leg, deeply bend your right knee, collect both hands to the instep of your right foot and toe heel your right foot wide. Option to stay up on the hands or drop down to the elbows and forearms for our dragon pose or low lunge. I like to release the head heavy, chin towards the chest, but if that causes strain in your cervical spine, continue to look forward and outward to the degree that feels best. For most of us, we like to flare the right knee out, but focus on the inner right knee squeezing towards the outer right shoulder. Strength and flexibility. Deep compression on right hip flexor and a lot of length for your left. You can come back up to the hands. Let's roll the right shoulder back. Place your right hand to the inside of your right knee. And then roll your chest open. We layer on a quad stretch. Deeply bend your left knee. Right hand reaches back and catches the top of your left foot. Here is where we can press the outer right knee away from the body. Option to roll onto the right pinky toe only if that feels safe on the body. Not only are we stretching out our left quadricep, we're getting a nice twist for the spine, rinse for the kidneys, 
without dumping into your left shoulder, keep your neck nice and long. Little pulses if that feels good, drawing left heel closer towards your left glute. Last few seconds. And avoid slingshotting your body, slow release. Collect your right hand and then press it back to a tabletop. Switch out, half split, left leg out long in front of you. Your hands are framing your left knee or your left calf. Remember, it's a flat spine, no rounding, no arching. And it's as high or as low as you feel the left hamstrings beginning to sweetly lengthen. Five left toes flexed upward towards the sky. Pressing into your hands, rebend your left knee, your dragon pose or lizard lunge. Collect both hands to the instep of your left foot. Option to stay upright on the palms or drop down to your elbows and forearms. Recall we're drawing flexibility and strength together here, inner left knee to your outer left shoulder. Without crunching into the neck, shoulders slide down the back. Smoothing out the breath. Allow your body to soften on the exhalation. Last few seconds. You can stay grounded on the elbows or return to the palms. We take the twist over to the left. Place your left hand to the inner left knee, ultimately sweeping left arm up, back, and around, catching the top of your right foot. If you like that flare open through your outer left knee, be sure to flex your left foot as you roll onto the left pinky toe. Allowing your left shoulder to roll back, your collarbones to broaden. And keep pressing into your right elbow, right forearm. And if you enjoyed those pulses on your first side, drawing your right heel closer to right glute a little or a lot more. No slingshot, slow release. Return to palms. Let's meet in a tabletop, stacking our shoulders above wrists, hips above knees. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Two more, breathing in, heart open. Breathing out, spine high. And meet me down on the belly. Sphinx pose, legs long behind you, elbows under shoulders, and drop your right ear over to right shoulder. Here we're bringing the strength and flexibility into the lumbar spine, putting a little bit of stress and pressure on the sacrum. But again, nothing is painful. Allow the length to find the left side of your neck. Inhale. 
Inhale, lift crown of head through center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Relax jaw and face. Inhale, crown through center. And with the exhale, we meet in a tabletop. For puppy pose, keep your hips on top of your knees. Walk the arms forward, melting the forehead to the floor. And if that feels good, feel free to drop the chest to the floor. If and when that feels good, deep opening on front body, bring the base of the chin to the floor. Bringing the curvature into the upper and middle spine. Only if you are already comfortable, tuck both toes under, do this slowly, straighten both legs, inviting a much greater curvature into your spine. Keep breathing deeply, stay calm and stay with me. Last few seconds in our heart melting pose. The knees are lifted, return them to the earth, and slowly slide forward, bring hips to floor. Make your way up to standing on your knees, extend your right leg out to right side, big inhale, gate pose. It's a lovely side body stretch. You want to find a gaze that feels good on the neck, look down, look forward, or look up towards your lifted arm. Last few moments, keep the chest open. Inhale, arms lift up, and with the exhale, switching sides. Extend your left leg out, and then big circle, right arm up and over. You want to be sure with gate pose, where we're working on side bodies, that your shoulders and hips are in the same plane. You're not caving forward or rolling back. Last few moments. And with your inhale, lifting up. With your exhale, let it all go. Say one, maybe two more things. Inhale for cow and exhale for cat. You can cycle through that a couple of times, just bringing the spine back to neutral. And last but certainly not least, we'll take a few moments in down dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. For me, I like to pedal the heels. You may enjoy pulsing the chest. pressing into the palms, and enjoy the length in your spine. And with that, we are done. Thank you guys so much for being here today and practicing with me, rather stretching with me. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss a new video. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.